hello guys my name is Nora Saha and today in this tutorial we are going to use some method that comes with math module but first let's understand what method and modules are a method or a function is a piece of code that takes some value as input and do some calculation on that value and give us a result as a output where the module is a collection of those function in python if we want to round off our numerical value we can write r o u and the round then we have to give the value for example 4.7 and it return 5 because 4.7 is round up to 5 which is a very normal round of function but what if we want to remove the value that comes after the decimal point for that First, we have to import the math module and we do that by writing import import and math hit enter now the math module is imported then we can use the method that comes with math module now if you wonder what methods this math module offer then you have to navigate to help and python documentation or you can just press f1 button here it opens python documentation on the top right corner click modules we want to see the math module so i select yam and here you can see the math just click enter here cell combo copy sign fav factorial floor are some of the function that offer by math module where we want to use this math module function to truncate everything that comes after the decimal point so let's see how we can use this floor function that comes with math module we have to write mats math dot floor then the value 4.7 now if i hit enter it returns 4 because it truncated 0.7 and return only 4 let's see with another example mats math dot floor 7.1 and even it returns 7 by truncating 0.1 in the similar way if we want the highest round of value like instead of 5.7 we want 6 or instead of 2.3 we want 3 in that case we have to write math dot cell and the value see it returns 3 because 2.3 is round up to 3 or math dot seal 6.1 return 7 for this you can imagine you are in a room where the lowest value is on the floor and the highest value is on the ceiling here this seal is ceiling and the floor is floor we can also calculate power by using power function we have to write math dot pow where it takes two parameter let's say we want to calculate 2 to the power 3 then we have to write 2 comma 3 and it returns 8.0 we can also calculate power of something without using the math module by just writing 2 asterisk asterisk 3 and still it returns 8 but if you compare this to result you may notice that this power function return the float value where this asterisk method return integer value sometime while doing mathematical calculation we may also need the value of pi at that time we can write math dot pi and it return the value of pi 
we also have the trigonometric function like sine cos function but we have to remember that it takes value only in radian instead of degree for sin 90 we write math dot sine and math dot pi 2 90 means pi by 2 so I write here pi by 2 and it gives 1.0 which is the correct answer likewise math dot cos 0 gives also 1.0 for the inverse of cos or sine we add a just before cos or sine like math dot a sine 1 and it returns 1.57 which is equal to pi by 2 and there is also a log function math dot log 2 16 it gives 4 because 2 to the power 4 is 16 so it return 4 another example is math dot log 10 100 and it returns 2 because 10 raised power 2 is 100 so it return 2 and these are the many a few example of function that comes with math module which will be very handy while making a math related program and this is the end of this tutorial i hope you learned something from this tutorial and we will meet on our next tutorial